G'day folks, I'm Rick Hollis. Let's have a play with the Amp One by Blue Guitar with Thomas Blue. Yeah. As part of the recent 42 Gear Street Gear Fest put on by Henning Pauli at his HP42 studios in Germany, I had the chance to sit down with Mr. Thomas Blug, who, apart from being an absolutely killer guitar player, is the man behind the Blue Guitar brand, who makes some incredible guitar gear, including the Amp One analog pedal amp. Thomas gave me a play and a rundown of the Amp One, which is now available in two versions. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy my chat with Thomas Blug and the Amp One. this beautiful sound that we're hearing is these, these really cool boxes that we're playing through here, which is your amp. Yeah, it's the Amp 1. Amp 1. Yeah. Okay. What have we got here? Is it, It's a, a pre-amp no. and power amp. It, well, it is a full amp. Think, full of, amp. think of this little box here as a 100 watt tube amp yep. that usually weighs, you know, a lot more, is that size. Yep. It's four channels. Yep. So I had to come up with an idea how to reduce the amount of tone controls. Yep. So we have a clean channel that has um, a volume control yeah. and it has its own tone control here. So this is the clean tone okay. that goes on this amp from like a tweet sound yep. to um, black phrase and on the other side it's, it's like a, a silver face, you know, okay. so a brighter tone. Then I have a vintage channel which is like um, modeled after my GTM45 and um, then the classic is more like a GCM800 that can be tweaked on the side with the tone controls again, mm -hmm. and the modern channel is like Mesa kind of territory. Yeah, um, I, I give you a few sounds here. Sure. So this is this is the clean, um, but something that happens on the clean as well is I can, you know, like on a Fender amp, if I put the, everything on ten, yeah, now I reduce the master, so we have the same volume level. Yep, but I can get a. And the clean handle handles pedals very well. So, nice. okay, now back, you know, like on a Fender, if you play it like on six or whatever five, it's really clean, you yep. know. <laughs> Built in spring type reverb. reverb. Okay. So I'm looking at this and I'm seeing this. Nano tube. What, what's this all about? This is a sub miniature tube, which is uh, from Russia, yeah. military graded, and um, it's using. It's been used in the power amp stage to get the power amp react the same way like a tube power amp. So cool. you know the warmth that you hear. Yeah. It is part of the connection with the speaker. Now I see you've got an effects loop on there as well. Yeah. Yep. It is a effects loop. It can be switched from serial to parallel. We do have uh, a level switch also, mm -hmm. in case you have some vintage effects, um, like for a pedal level or studio level, yep. so that's also possible. There is a headphone out or a, a recording out for going straight into PA system. It's universal power, so wherever you go on this planet, it will sound exactly the same because it's a switch mode power supply, which makes sure that the voltage that is supplied to the um, circuitry yep is exactly no matter what uh, the, the primary voltage is. This amp uh, is using the same housing, but uh, you know the sounds are t totally different. Let I just quickly give you a few uh, examples. First thing is the clean channel is designed to be super kind of sparkly with with humbuckers. Yeah. Um, um, so, you know, even high output pickups that sometimes have a lot of mid-range kind of start to sh shimmer, um, which is nice. Um, then, when we go for the vintage channel, just so you can hear, it's a woody. Yeah. 
with extra boost. The classic. Compared, vintage again. Woody, classic. More scooped, you know. Yeah. And the modern is kind of mid maximum brutality. <laughs> So, you know, anything played for this amp will be tight in the low end, no matter how low you go. Yep. This is classically voiced. Yep. So, you know, some players use like tube screamers and stuff to, to tighten up the low end. Yep. And uh, this is not needed with this unit. Cool. The range on this is is from vintage to modern, but this is like the modern specialist. Sure, sure. And the, um, the modern channel on this is kind of a little bit overlapping with, with it, but I mean, I found out me being you know a traditional guitar player you know with vintage guitars yep. and and doing rock and heavy rock and deep purple and white snake and then of course i know there are some more modern bands yep and then i found hey there's a, a huge universe going on there yeah and they they kind of asked me you know i like the concept and could you make the, the low end a bit tighter and stuff and i thought you know what i go all the way yeah i make yeah. a dedicated unit just for cool. that I see you've also got a recording out. So yeah. is that a speaker em emulated yeah. out? It's yep. a speaker emulated out and it sounds also killer. Yep. What does the foot switch jack do? Ah, it's uh, actually uh, a free purpose uh, jack. It's yep. intelligent. The first option here is you can have a standard double foot switch for clean overdrive and boost. Yeah. Um, there's actually another mode where you can assign your three favorite settings into the three internal foot switches. Cool, cool. So, you know, for a gig you have your clean tone, your whatever, ACDC rhythm sound. Yep. And your solo tone. And um, it's, so there's many ways to, to use it. This socket is a MIDI adapter, which you plug it in and there's a five pole um, MIDI socket, yeah, and then the whole unit knows when this is plugged in yeah. that it, that it will receive MIDI commands. Yeah, then the boost button will become a MIDI learn button, and then you can have whatever your multi effects helix or roll and boss yep. whatever yep. MS. Uh, there's so many out there, yep. um, and you make patches, MIDI patches, yep. and your external um, multi effects device will send a, a program change command yeah and this will recall the current setting of this so cool so you can put presets of this yeah. and recall so, yeah what one thing I, I would like to show you as well is the noise gate uh, and this is off so you see ah oh, cool so and this is now on metal super tight okay if we go for metal yeah and if I use the reverb, which means I want longer notes, it switches automatically to soft. And then when you go back for your rhythm sound, it's tight. Get it? Oh yeah! Uh, Uli John Roth from Scorpions uses it. Um, uh, Ian from Saga, the Canadian band. Jennifer Batten, yeah. Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. She was actually the first customer ever. Is that right? She, she bought a prototype of me. And, wow. And watch her raving about this. Uh, and she paid for it, everything. Yeah. So, And the other guitar player that worked for Prince is Kat Dyson. Yep. She also plays my amp. Wow. So cool. I, got, I got kind of Michael Jackson and Prince's uh, yeah. guitar players. Now engage the boost. It cleans up and yep. all that stuff. Okay, the classic, um, you know, has a bit more gain. <laughs> Okay. 
You are a great player. I like, I like this. I like this. And then the modern, you know, it's, it's like even with single coils, I can get my Gary Moore. <laughs> Thomas Blue, big pleasure. Thank you very much. Rick Thank you, man. Thank you.